What's up guys, it's Kevin here again, and today I'm going to be going over something really interesting. It's called jump hacking, and it's where players will inject code to change their humanoid so that they can jump like, you know, crazy heights. Um, the original, or I would guess, uh, this, oh sorry, so a little background of this, it still works in, with filtering enabled, so even if you have filtering enabled, you still need to check for jump hacking, speed hacking, fly hacks, etc. I've made videos all those in the past, you can check them out, and I've created free models so you guys can just download the scripts. Now for the most part these scripts will be client side so that the server won't need to waste computing time. Uh, this is really important because you don't want to constantly check all the players uh, all the players speed and jump power on the server that would take a lot of time and a lot of uh, for loops and looping so so we're going to start off i'm going to show you guys how it works if we click play over here as you guys can see uh, and we go into workspace so what a hacker will do is they have something called like a code injector and so they can inject uh, scripts into the game and change certain variables but that's only on the client side. They can also listen to remote functions and events and spam them. Uh, so keep in mind about that in the future. I might make a video on how to defend against that. Um, and so over here, we're going to change or go to the humanoid and we're going to change the jump power to 300. So as you guys can see, when I change it to 300, I can jump an insane amount. You don't want this happening to your game because people will definitely take advantage of that if you don't ban it. So we're going to click stop. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to defend against it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a local script uh, inside the player starter scripts. The reason why we do this is so that it runs on the client side. Anything inside the starter player scripts uh, or inside the player's uh, separate folder, it will it will run on the client side. So we're going to name this anti-jump hack. Now you don't need to make this super obvious because they can view uh, they can view the scripts and probably look at what you're doing. Um, but that's okay. So it, yeah, you, you kind of want to hide it. Like maybe name it like chat script or something. I don't know. Who cares? But so we're going to start off with setting up our variable. So we're going to want to set up a max jump power variable. Okay, and I like to capitalize it so that we know it's a constant that we can change and edit. And then, so basically this max jump power will be how high the player can jump or the most amount. And I know 50 is the default, so we're just going to go with that. And then we're going to have check time. So check time is how often you're going to check if the player has this exact max jump power. Power. If they don't, then what we're going to do is we're going to kick them. So that's the basic pseudocode or idea. And then we're going to set up the player, okay? Because we need to know what the player is. So we're going to do player is equal to game get service, okay? Players. And then we're going to do dot local player. Now, what local player does is it just grabs the local player who's the owner of the script. Uh, and so this is nice because we just check our own players. And so right here, we do while wait, check time, okay, and then do. So we're just gonna loop around. Every time the player spawns in, we're gonna loop around. Now, right here is going to be very important. We're gonna have to do if player.character. The reason why is because maybe sometimes a glitch happens and the player's character is lost. We don't wanna cause an error though on the client side and just have the script completely in. So we're going to say if player.character. So if the player.character exists, then that means if jump power is greater than uh, max jump power. So now because we know the character exists, we can index the humanoid. Uh, and so over here, we're just going to do player kick. And so uh, we're just going to kick the player if they have, and we're just say, no, ja no jump hacking, buddy. Okay, you guys can say some more mean things, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So this is the basic gist of it. So it's basically just this while loop that will run in the background, and uh, it will kick the player if their jump power is greater than the max jump power. So if I run it, as you guys can see, it will... Uh, here, let me jump off this. It will replicate into the player's player scripts. So over here you can see the anti-jump hacks. 
that's what happens when you put in the starter player, by the way, guys. You mess around with that and uh, look at the Roblox wiki and stuff. But right now, if we click stop, or sorry, not stop. Right now, if we navigate to our character and navigate to this humanoid, we can go in and actually change the jump power to, let's just say, 300. Okay? And so if I... Boom. It just kicks me. So I don't even get a jump. It'll just kick me automatically. Uh, right now, it doesn't show the kick thing, but if you run it in server mode uh, over here with one player, then it'll actually show that you're kicked out. So I'm going to post this as a free model. Uh, thank you guys for watching. The links uh, will be in the description. My profile will be in the description. You guys can check out my Discord, anything. Uh, hit me up if you have any more questions, anything like that. I'd be happy to help. And right now, I'm working on a pretty big game, uh, and it'll come out, I guess, in two months or so, and I'll release a video on that as well, like maybe some kind of advertisement or trailer, so you guys can know what I'm being going up to, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and always have a good day. I will see you guys next time.